Welcome back to the Bravado Buzz. I am your host today, Eric Shannon, filling in for Shayla. And I am Nate Overton. And we are back today to tell you more about the interesting activities that are happening here in Oklahoma. As always on the Bravado Buzz, we'll tell you about how to get out there, how to be boldly, and how to be bold, excuse me, and be part of what's going on this week in the great state of Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. There's no excuse to stay indoors this summer when you could be out there, you know, experiencing events like the American Legion that happened last week. It was fun. Last week we had the American Legion Connor State College yep. 2018 June Showcase. Mm -hmm. Got to see a ton of great athletes, you know, high school to uh, incoming freshmen in college. And uh, 16 different teams played all weekend. A little warm out there, but, uh, you know, we got by it. Yeah, it was hot out there, but we've got plenty of, uh, of events to help you beat the heat. So grab a seat and get comfortable. We've got some awesome show planned for you today, so stay tuned. And the first event we're going to talk about today is a 2018 Patriotic Festival. It's being put on by the city of Coweta, and it's coming up this Saturday, June 23rd from 6 o'clock until 10 p.m. Transportation to and from the event will be taken care of by the Coweta Transit. Shuttles will start at the Coweta High School and take you to the event, and that'll start at 5 o'clock. The fireworks show will start around dark, so uh, if you have any questions about the event, contact the city of Coweta for more information and uh, just have a great time. Yeah, and don't forget to bring your lawn chairs and blankets out there so that you can stay nice and cozy while you watch the fireworks. Uh, next, we're traveling from Coweta to Muskogee for the next event. You basketball fans out there, Night Hoops. So Night Hoops is a, a re reoccurring event that will take place Friday and Saturday nights hosted by do the Dr. Martin Luther King Community Center near downtown Muskogee. It takes place from 7.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. That way you can escape the heat and focus on the fun and the events that, uh, that are family oriented, which means the whole family can enjoy the music, dancing, guest speakers and food and other games and activities. And something fun uh, that's new this year the kids are gonna love is they will be having inflatables at the uh, King Center and that'll be on Saturday nights only, 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. Yeah, I'm, I'm way too big for that. They, yeah, they'd I, get hurt real fast. I doubt they would let me on the inflatables, <laughs> oh, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you want to learn more about this event, call 918-684-6314 or What's Happening in Muskogee this summer. You can go to visitmuskogee.com for a calendar of all the events. So before we move on to our next event in Muskogee, we're going to take a short commercial break. So hang tight and we'll see you back here in just a second. You are called to be bold. You have a right to the best wireless service, high-speed internet, and customer service at a price you can feel good about. At Bravado Wireless, we know this, and that's why we put you and your community first. We are owned and operated right here in Eastern Oklahoma. We live where you live. We proudly connect you to your family, friends, and business partners wherever they are. Dallas, Seattle, Taipei, Toronto, and anywhere else in the world. We are Bravado Wireless. We believe in the power of connection. Welcome back. And like we said earlier, uh, the first day of uh, summer is coming up. That's June 21st. Mm -hmm. And uh, Muskogee is on its way to celebrate the Make Mus Music Muskogee Day. And it's a music celebration that takes part of the Make, Mus Make Music Day. Like it's a, a worldwide twister. event. It's a tongue twister, right? Yeah. And it's going to be happening on June 21st and the uh, first day of the summer solstice. Yeah. Fun fact, the International Music Celebration started in France in, 18, in 1982, sorry, uh, has spread to more than 750 countries and 120 different places, so. Well, this awesome event's gonna run 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., and so uh, get out there, experience some live music. Uh, it's all free, free performances, fun for all uh, ages, different genres of music, and uh, it's just a nice, little community outreach day. Yeah. Uh, they're going to end up with the uh, song from Oki, uh, the Oki from Muskogee and the song from Oklahoma. So be, go out there and be part of that. And it's the first mus uh, music day in Oklahoma and the first Muskogee is the first town to be participating in. Yeah. So <laughs> moving right along Muskogee across the greater Tahlequah area, we have the River City Players season opening. Opening night is June 21st, but it runs through Thursday and Friday through August 4th at the NSU Playhouse downtown 
in downtown Tahlequah. This is a great time to get out there and see what all the local talent, you know, the rock and roll replay at 7.30, Thursdays at 2, uh, 2 p.m. on Saturdays. Uh, this time we'll be around the River City Players and we'll be rolling through a few timeless rock and roll cover songs. If you're a fan of rock and roll, this is your chance to relive a lot of those timeless hits. And if it's country music, that's your cup of tea, you can always go out to the country traditions and that's at 7.30 on Fridays and uh, it's the same time on Saturdays. And this is also what the River City uh, Players and it plays tribute to uh, traditional country music songs. Mm -hmm. um, so I think uh, any kind of uh, country music fan will love it. Yeah, and if you haven't had a chance to watch the River City Players take this take this opportunity to watch them work, you won't be disappointed. For tickets and information, you can go to the NSU box office. Tickets start at $7 per person. And if you haven't seen the River City Players, take this time and, you know, go out with your family. It's a great family yeah. fun experience, and I really, uh, I uh, encourage you to go go take a, a watch at it. Yeah. And uh, coming up next on our next segment, we're going to take a quick break, but we're going to talk about the Lake Watch. Not Baywatch. Not Baywatch. Not no. Baywatch, no. but the Lake Watch. Yeah. All right, coming up on the Lake Watch, we're going to discuss all the local lake levels and for the fishermen and fisherwomen out there that want to know about the fish activity before they make the drive out to the lake. According to the Wildlife Department website, the lake level at Ten Killer is normal and the catfish are spawning on the rocks and will eat almost anything, even McDonald's fries. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. <laughs> good Sounds times. like a really good time. Broken Bow Lake is a little below normal. Uh, but the fish are currently active and are especially attracted to uh, live bait. So uh, as you can see, the lake level Hugo Lake is a little up. And uh, if you're using live bait, you should have no problem catching uh, tons of fish. Mm -hmm. So if you're a fisherman, uh, this is the week to go out. Uh, finally, on the big red uh, Lake Eufaula, uh, it's perfect for catching uh, any kind of fish. And yeah. the lake levels are uh, just a little below normal. So go out and you should have a, a, a fun time if you're a fisherman. Yeah. And uh, I don't know that it's really about catching fish. It's just kind of being outdoors and being relaxing. outdoors, being, being on the lake. That, that cool breeze that's actually blowing off the lake is really refreshing. And I'll, I'll throw in something else. You know what's pretty awesome about that is all the lakes we just mentioned mm -hmm. is we have great cell phone coverage every one of them. We do. We really do. So. And uh, Lake Eufaula actually is very surprising my favorite lake yeah i love lake you yeah, grew up on it even so. though you can't can't see very far no you can't it's it's kind of weird i know some of you out there that they worry about you know your feet not being able to see what's down there but right. hey i've been there since i was about two years old and i can reassure you uh i haven't got bit by anything <laughs> and got so, swallowed up right no no so so yeah, so, yeah. none so of those moving, alligators yeah so moving on if lakes are not your cup of tea uh, our next event offers something that's for everyone. The Muskogee Creek Nation Festival is going on at June 21st through June 24th and offers pretty much everything from concerts, cultural displays, and all Indian rodeo sports, tournaments, parades, and all the list goes on and on. You can expect to see uh, performances by Winona and the Big no Noise and Craig Campbell on Friday, June 22nd. And uh, it's just going to be a great time out there. Well, what was funny is when I thought it said Winona and the Big Nose. That's what I so thought. So I yeah. thought, man, that yeah. might be something to go see. It's like a yeah. you know, freak show big... attraction. Yeah. Right, right. No. So uh, Winona check it and out. The big Noise. That's the what it is. Big that's Noise. Not the Big Nose. Not to yeah. offend her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Winona, your nose is just fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Muskogee Creek Nation is, uh, the festival's going on. There's lots more activities to do it. The Claude Cox Omniplex. Now, if you don't know where this is all at, this is all happening in Omogi, mm -hmm. over in the home of Creek Nation, a uh, beautiful area over there. So more information, go to creekfestival.com and uh, just check out everything that's going on. And as always, you can always go to travelok.com too to check out more information. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So we're gonna take a quick commercial. We'll be right back after this short break and uh, let's see if we can do as well as uh, Shayla and Olivia to close it out. Yeah. Summer is in motion, and you don't want to miss a moment of it. With Bravado Wireless, get unlimited talk, text, and data at a price you can feel great about. This summer, go bold. Go outside, go barefoot. We are Bravado Wireless, and we believe in the power of connection. 
Welcome back, and uh, the closing up, the next thing we have going out there is for your rodeo fans, is the Jim Shoulders Roundup Rodeo that'll be taking place June 22nd and June 23rd at Nichols Park in Henrietta. And uh, if you don't know who Jim Shoulders is, this rodeo is dedicated to the 16-time world champion cowboy Jim Shoulders. And I, I remember back when uh, Troy Aikman was with the Dallas Cowboys and they, they were making a big deal about, um, obviously they should, but Troy Aikman being from Henrietta, mm -hmm. and they were saying, you know, he's not the only you know, big time cowboy from Henrietta. And yeah. then they were talking about Jim Shoulders. Mm -hmm. And I remember they actually did an interview with him during the Super Bowl. And it was really neat to, to hear the history of not only him, but all of his family and how really the whole Henrietta area mm -hmm. got together and, and really supported everything. It, it's yeah. really a neat deal and it's a big event down there. So if you have time, uh, swing down there and, and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, but it's gonna uh, have traditional rodeo events like uh, bronc riding, bull busting, barrel racing, and my favorite, mutton busting, and all sorts of different cowboy activities and cowgirl happening. So uh, if you think you can uh, handle all this, grab your cowboy hat and head down to the Jim Shoulders mm -hmm. Rodeo Roundup happening in Henrietta. Oh yeah. Next we'll be traveling down to my, uh, to my neck of the woods. Actually, it's not my neck of the woods, but if you're interested in classic cars or even classic tractors, the next event will have your attention. The annual Blue Mountain Cruiser Car and Truck Show uh, will be at the Pool Park in Hartshorn on June 23rd. The show will include all makes and models from 1900s to the 1990s. There's no shortage of types of cars out there, so it's going to be exciting. Yeah, and this is your, your type of theme. It's 50s and 60s. You can go down and see, uh, uh, kind of channel your inner greaser, your, your mm. inner... Uh, 1950s greaser and yeah. uh, and uh, check out some of that. It's going to have some great 50s and 60s music and and uh, these guys uh, put on just a heck of a show down there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's going to be a good time to see all those. You know, my favorite is the 1972 Chevy Cheyenne. That that truck is just. Mm, see, I like I like the old 70 muscle cars mm -hmm. and the yeah. Chevelles and stuff like that. The 70s were were some good times for cars. Thank you. <laughs> to all the car makers out there that were in the 70s. Right. You made some pretty awesome cars. Some very nice cars, right? Very, so yeah. go check that out and then uh, go see who gets the uh, coveted best show mm -hmm. and uh, the best car. So be fun times down yeah. there. Uh, now we're moving on to McAllister. In the McAllister area, the uh, Gospel Singing Convention will be taking place in the Southeast Expo Center from June 21st to June 23rd. Uh, this is your chance to experience three days of inspirational gospel music performed by some of the finest singers and musicians in the country. Uh, you can hear traditional favorites and popular new spins on some old time classics uh, at the convention. If you have any questions about this event, visit TravelOK.com. And last but not least, we have Music in the Park that's coming up in Ada. And it's presented by the City of Ada and the Happy Land Music Alliance. Uh, it's Music in the Park, it's a free event and it's part of their summer concert series and it has a little something for everybody all different types of music mm -hmm. and the music ranges from soulful america to alternative rock and some different little spins here and there. It's huge musical selection so you'll find something you like uh, just go down there and check it out great event for the family the event takes place on the 11th uh, of june through the 17th of june and there's a lot to do uh, so it'll continue throughout the summer days. That's when it starts, so it's going to continue through June and July. Mm -hmm. So check that out. And uh, as always, you can go to Facebook. It's Music in the Park Wintersmith. So if you get confused, just type in Wintersmith mm -hmm. in the search engine and you'll find it. Yeah, yeah. And if you're interested in all these events, you can go to, uh, to bravadotv.com and a list of upcoming events will be up there. So, you know, today you hear on the Bravado Buzz also taking a moment to like our Facebook page and so that you'll never miss an episode. Never miss an episode. We have it on uh, the Bravado TV and uh, Facebook mm -hmm. page. Mm -hmm. So folks, we hope you've really enjoyed this episode of Nate and I filling in. Yeah. I know we've had fun. We've cut up a little bit and I hope we're, we're as professional as the ladies. We're probably not near as as good to, oh, to no. look at no, than no, the no, ladies no. were. No, no. But, Sorry you had to look at us today. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But thank you for, uh, for tuning in and uh, let us know what you think. You know, get yeah. on Facebook and say, hey, you know, you need to wear a different color shirt or, uh, <laughs> you know, Nate wear, needs to wear a bigger hat. Maybe we can get him like a 10 gallon hat out of yeah. uh, Jim yeah, Shoulders. Try to, try to see, see if we get some people voting into see if I get a, uh, 
what do they call that, the 10 gallon hat. Let's see if we can make that happen. Yeah, we get enough votes, we'll put him in. But folks, thanks for joining us and we hope to see you next week. And just remember uh, to get out there and be bold. Be bold, people. Yeah, I'm Nate. He's and Eric. I'm Eric Shannon. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, thanks guys.